2020 marks the 150th anniversary of the United States Department of Justice. However, the origins of the department reach back even further to the 18th century, when the Office of the Attorney General was created by the Judiciary Act of 1789. It was a one-person part-time position, first held by Edmund Randolph. Also created by the same legislation in 1789 were the United States attorneys, who serve as the nation's principal litigators, and the United States Marshals, the nation's oldest federal law enforcement agency. George Washington himself hand wrote the nominations for the first United States attorneys and United States Marshals. After the American Civil War, Congress passed the 1870 Act, which established the Department of Justice to handle all criminal prosecutions and civil suits in which the United States had an interest. In addition to establishing the department, the 1870 Act also created the Office of the Solicitor General, which represents the United States before the U.S. Supreme Court. The 1870 Act remains the foundation for the department's authority, but the structure of the Department of Justice has changed over the years. With the addition of the Office of Deputy Attorney General in 1950, Associate Attorney General in 1977, and the formation of various components, offices, boards, and divisions. Litigating components, like the Civil Rights Division and the National Security Division, were added in 1957 and 2005. Additional federal law enforcement agencies were formed throughout the department's history. The Federal Bureau of Investigation in 1908, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives in 1972, and the Drug Enforcement Administration in 1973. The Office of Justice Programs was established in 1984 to provide federal grants and training, assist victims, and enhance the rule of law. Today, the department is made up of over 100,000 employees, including IT technicians, accountants, correctional officers, and forensic experts, to name only a few. The Department of Justice has evolved to become the chief enforcer of federal laws in the country, and the largest law office and repository of criminal justice programs in the world. Thomas Jefferson wrote, the most sacred of the duties of government is to do equal and impartial justice to all its citizens. This sacred duty remains the guiding principle for the women and men of the United States Department of Justice. To learn more about the department's history, go to justice.gov history.